manager goals and council goals is called to order at 326. Um, we're still waiting for one other person, but let's, uh, first of all, as we look at the agenda, uh, it's just a straight call to order. There's no announcements. Uh, there's nobody here to do public comment. Um, so I think what we wanna talk about is the fact that we have this dual charge, okay? My, here's my proposal, okay? But the reason I'm suggesting we look at these up here, which are the goals, are the priorities that we identified, is because to just in our minds have them there as we look at the town manager's goals. And we do the town manager's goals first, in a, and I wanna say in draft form, because then I either need to meet directly with Paul or have Paul come meet with the committee, and he needs to look at those with us, okay? And in the process of that, um, he, um, it's a negotiation process, okay? But I would wanna have a preliminary meeting with Paul and then either with this group or separately and then come back to this group and say, okay, we're ready to take these to the council for negotiation. Meantime, we can be working on these, but my reason for bringing these up here today is just to say, you know, there was a strong feeling that we should have uh, council goals around the capital plans and a comprehensive plan, which includes sidewalks and other things, okay, and maintenance. The, uh, there were two votes on uh, climate action. I know I was one, Darcy was one. Um, the zoning had a couple, and then people added in a variety of things like the comprehensive downtown plan, um, master planning and arts um, and so forth. But the broad goal is around zoning and master plan, okay? And then I'm gonna skip process for the moment. And then over here, um, under the one that has outreach, um, the one piece that I mean, it's it's a variety of, of differentiation. Um, and I think it deserves a goal, but I'm not sure we have to spend a lot of time on it in relationship to the town manager's goals. Um, except to continue to ask that he do everything he can to create diversity in his appointments, just as we should too. But I do wanna go down to finance and resources because although the points here are kinda like all over the place, the issue of finance and resources is, is a huge category within the town manager's goals. And then the last one was just uh, uh, basically charter, um, and areas that need to be changed, and the town attorney and the relationship of counselors. So in, in my thinking, as we go through the counselor's goals, I mean, not the counselor's goals, I'm sorry, the town manager's goals, we wanna make sure that of our priorities that got lots and lots of attention, if you will, or votes, that they're reflected in how the town manager supports those priorities. Does that make sense? Okay. So, yeah. I just would add, you went through the same process that Doug Slaughter went through in terms of collating all the comments you got on a really long evaluation form, but putting it into categories. Right. It would be really useful. I'm just looking at Doug's because I don't actually have yours because yours is probably on. It's SharePoint, SharePoint. But I'm just thinking you ended up with some top line categories and trying to think of what's missing from those. Um, uh, I sent it to you, Kathy, and they are exactly the same five that Doug Slaughter it did. Doug did, yeah. yeah. And, and then I was looking as Doug went into them, he had subsets of each of them and 
the thing I found frustrated in the evaluation form is some of those subsets were quite major, but we had them like to do to do lists and right. like so I just want to go as we go through this think in terms of we have a decent outline and, and just what you were just saying there's some categories we might want to add mm -hmm. that are missing because or of our own we want to make. or subsets we right. want to add but I don't want to put them in the submitted a proposal for kind of task list more it to have it be more uh, global okay so in your packet that I sent you hi Darcy uh, the, I did provide you with the write-up of the town manager's goals and ignore the write-up, but the broad categories are the five categories that are here and the goals that were in those broad categories are under those. It was a way of just saying, here they are grouped. Now, th again, these are the same grouping that Doug used. I think this is how, one of the ways I've thought about doing this is going through each of the five categories, as Kathy has suggested, decide should there be subcategories or are, is there a sixth or seventh category? And then the other thing is go through the existing goals that are here and say, do we need that goal? Or are there other goals we should add? And l let's not throw the whole thing out and start over. Let's use what we've got I, did, I should just didn't see you had it as an yeah. attached file. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly where I was going. So the the five categories are fiscal management, long range planning, relationship with the in this case town council, staff and personnel relations and community intergovernment relations and volunteer committees, boards, and commissions. Those were the five that they clustered into. Committee, community, intergovernmental relations, and volunteer committees, comma, boards, and commissions. Those were the five categories. There's nothing sacred about those. I just, it's a place to start. Just like there's nothing sacred about any of the actual goals under each of these categories, it's a place to start. Okay? Kathy. Okay. Um, I, I had mentioned this to Lynn, and I will send everyone the link to it. Um, for other reasons, I was looking at the Cambridge budget um, because I'm on this participatory budget uh, commission. But anyway, they have council goals embedded in the budget. Um, a one pager. So there are kinds of things that we talked about on Saturday, and Darcy will like the very first one I'm going to read out, because they're at deep in our commitment to sustainable use of energy and strengthen our capacity for resilience. So we've identified that as something we as a council think is the town has done it. Would we want to make that a high level Paul one, or is that a subset of? committees that's, that's would be an example. And then the other one that I liked in terms of it fits things we're thinking about um, is, uh, and these are just their words, not mine, make it easy to move safely through the city, especially sustainable modes of transportation. So under that, they were thinking of buses, bike routes, sidewalks. You know, we want to be a livable, walkable city. Um, and then so I'm, I will send these all to people, but I, I kind of like some of them because it, um, you know, their one on budget is, this is the council goals, okay? Ensure the city's budget allocates resources responsibly and, and uh, responsibly and responsively. Um, but I think um, some of this, um, is it a council goal? Is it a manager goal? Because I like this other one, develop a more proactive, inclusive, and transparent city planning process. We think of the planning board as just being over there responding to proposals. And so Cambridge is saying, do we want to, as a city council, have a 
what do we want our city to be looking at? So, so are those council goals, if yes, when we talk about it, would they ever become a Paul goal? Because as town manager, he can interact. Some of these are his staff. Um, so, so those were just a few I picked out that they are along with some of the conversations we've had about what we'd like to see over the next few years. Do you, let me comment on one or two points. Actually, if you go back and you look in the FY20 budget, there are stated council goals <laughs> that I took directly from the goals we developed at our first retreat when I wrote that section. I didn't write any other sections of the budget, but I had to write something. And, um, but we, the, you know, people have since said, but that's just like a checklist. I'm, I actually feel that some of the goals we have in that are more, much more than a checklist. And so at some point when we get back to being much more serious about all of our council goals, I think we might want to resurrect the old set of goals that we came up with that first time. Because, I mean, you know, there's a housing goal, there's a transportation goal, there's a sustainability goal. I mean, it, it, again, maybe implementing... No, exactly. We had some of those, yeah. and I didn't know, you know, and that this is my, which of those does or doesn't translate to a goal for the town manager. Right. He's sitting on, on top of all these departments that right. touch different aspects of those right. so could make a difference. Um, and on what level a year from now would we say, oh, he actually moved... Right. the agenda forward. Yeah. So, so my second point is, in fact, in that old set of goals that people said, oh, that's just a checklist at our retreat, I actually think embedded are some of the actual real goals of the council that keep on, because capital projects is there, finance is there, um, transportation is there, sustainability is there, et cetera. And then finally, uh, Kathy, you're, ac you're absolutely stating the right thing. The way I think about the manager's goals, and that is, what does he need to do to support our goals? And that was one reason why I was suggesting we start by looking at what our priorities are, and we say, okay, let's make sure as we go through them and look and decide on the, what we think should be in the town manager's goals, um, we would then they, it should, the goal in his case should be how does he help us reach that priority, whether it's by providing information, whether it's by forming committees or identifying additional resources or whatever the issue may be, how does he help us attain, obtain, attain that goal? Does that make sense? Yeah, Darcy. Okay, so what I did was in your, um, in the things I mailed you for the meeting, um, I included the document that for this last year's um, town manager's, um, sorry about that. I included the document that was the memo that the council eventually approved of the town manager's uh, appraisal, if you will. And the reason I included it was not because of all the write-up that was in there, but because it's clustered by five categories and under the goals it has um, under the goal, the goals that are in each of those categories are, are written right there. So, and I just now, um, uh, yes. No problem. So now let me see if I can, okay, 0326.
So these are the um, boards from our retreat, and they're in your packet as well. And then I sent it. I sent everything to you. Okay. They're just listed as photos. I'm sorry. We haven't had time to have them transcribed yet. But this is where, at the retreat, you'll remember we went through these and we put little stroke marks where there was more than one. And um, I'm just looking back on this and saying, make sure that we remember what we said. You know, capital projects and capital improvement plans, which includes uh, things like sidewalks and maintenance in general, sidewalks, roads, and maintenance in general, certainly got the highest. Down under climate action, I don't know why there's not two strokes here, but I think there were probably even more. I know there were two. Um, zoning certainly had, zoning and master plan certainly had a number. Um, skip process for the moment. And see, those are my examples of the reason you care about zoning master plan is you have a vision of what the future of the town and what you might want it to have it look like. So one of the tools you have is zoning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of the tools you, you know, so they're not the goal as much as the, the method of Process getting there. Get there. So the only reason we're doing some of this, if it was all working gloriously well, and we looked around us and said, we, get, we probably wouldn't list this on our, think about it for the next few years. So um, you know, I'm just saying that they're mm -hmm. a tool to get us something that we, mm -hmm. we, we think there's some there there that needs addressing. And so I just wanted to think in both ways where if we have that piece under us, how could, or can Paul, because their planning is often its own piece, but my understanding is the planning staff very much listens to what the town manager has yeah, to say. I mean, the planning staff, through Dave Zomack, reports to Paul. Yeah. Just as any of the other staff, yeah. fire, police, whatever. Um, so anything regarding master plan and zoning. So let me just because we do have a session coming up on master plan on the 28th. The charter requires that we do a public forum every year on the master plan, and that's what we're doing on the 28th. And for people who are not, kind of haven't visited the master plan lately, we're doing a primer at 5.30, and then having the public forum. But then the question at the pub after the public forum when we go into our regular meeting is going to be, are we ready to say to, say, CRC, please look at this, decide where there may be places where we need to do some revision on the master plan, not a total revision, but just some revision, and what are they, and what's the timeline? Because at some point, the council, by virtue of the charter, is asked to adopt the master plan, and we've not done that. And I don't think most of us, I don't think we're ready to until we've done this exploration. So that, and then zoning follows master plan in terms of, because master plan is where you do kind of like your vision, Kathy. It's, it's, the, it's your vision statement for the town. And then zoning um, follows that. Then over on this sheet all the way to the right, we have a whole bunch of things about outreach, everything including our relationship to UMass, our uh, desire for greater diversity, um, that kind of thing. And um, then under finance and resources, it, in addition to education and public understanding, it was plan for additional resources. In other words, generating additional resources, uh, economic goals, and um, so forth. Um, 
and then it gets you know into much more detail when it talks about things like funding the fire department. Um, so, and then there was one more sheet that doesn't have as much on it, and basically it says charter promises areas needing changes, and that's the whole track tracking of what we during our tenure here have found in the charter that's maybe needs to be tweaked because we are asked to keep a running um, list of those. And then the town attorney was the relationship to town councilors. Uh, so those that was the, the fourth sheet. I didn't put it up there because I can't fit them all with that and then have you see them. So that was just our thinking at the retreat and I, we do need to come back to these and, and as Kathy said, make sure we actually come back to the council with a set of draft goals. But the more urgent thing in my mind at this point is to use these in their rough form to come up with a draft set of goals for the town manager because it is already October, and usually that set of goals is done in late August, early September. So in making, I just made the little outline that was used, the, the mm -hmm. categories. And when we get to near the end, there are so many little teeny, like 20 items under this, 20 items under mm -hmm. that. And that's when I began to lose patience when I had to do the evaluation. Um, but then you have paragraphs which are written I, mm -hmm. I think if we had, in terms of the evaluation of goals, if we had the, the headings and then paragraphs which would include groups of those individual items instead of being asked item by item by item, and many of them we had no idea, um, how, I, I would have felt a lot better. How we do the evaluation following the goals, it's, it's important to keep it in mind, but our goal, our, our mm -hmm. charge in this area, in this committee is to help is to help recommend to the council the goals mm -hmm. and have those goals then rec negotiated with the town manager so and then yeah. those are the goals that in the summer of next year we'll do the evaluation on which totally okay. needs to be revamped so, so i need to know some idea of how many goals we're thinking of because i'm i would like fewer goals i would too okay <laughs> so if we just had some ballpark of what we're talking about I don't have a ballpark. I know less than we have now and more than five. Thank you. So the town manager goals depend on our goals, right? Is I'm sorry? The town manager's goals would depend upon what the council's goals are. They do to some, to extent. some extent. I mean, even the goals for the town manager that relate to staff. It's really, it's how well is the town running because the town needs to run well in order to accomplish uh, the goal and the vision we have for the town. But they also need to just generally function to keep the town going. And I had one question. When I was reading the description for the town manager, that document, Yes. I think it said something about him, you know, leading the vi having a vision for the town, and I was not sure, is he setting a vision for what the town is, or are we, th or the town council, or is it the master plan? Like, it, who is setting the vision? Good question. I think all of it comes together, but my sense would be that your council is the group that has the vision for the town. That doesn't mean the town manager doesn't have some ideas to bring to it. Um, the document that you have that, that is the position description is the document that was used in recruiting people to apply for town manager. And um, just going back to the period of time that that was in, um, we had already decided, I believe, to have a charter commission, but the charter commission had not formulated its proposal and had not been voted on. So it was very much a matter of how was the town manager then interacting with select board and town meeting and staff. 
I keep hearing, I don't know whether you hear this, but boy, I hear it a lot. People like the fact that they have district counselors and they know who to call. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's just, it's amazing to me how many times I hear that. They, they like the fact that there's somebody to go to that, you know, has a level of um, responsibility to be responsive. Um, which mm -hmm. I think all of us are trying to be. So, anyway, it's very different than before. Darcy. Like, um, doesn't it make sense to use the charter section with regard to the town manager evaluation and goals? Um, because it lays out very specifically in probably way greater detail than we'd even want. Um, but one of the one of the sections C, 3.2 C, I'm sort sorry, of yeah. relates to that section that we were talking about relationship to the select board, the relationship of the select board and the town council. Okay. It Here's seems to me like that should be more like executes town council policies or something like that. Like C is administer either directly or through a person supervised by the town manager, all provisions, blah, 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 all measures adopted by the town council and all regulations promulgated by town agencies. So he's, he's in charge of executing all of those things. So the section that Darcy is referring to is now up here, and it's called Executive oh, and Administrative wow. Powers and Duties. <laughs> it's amazing what I carry on my laptop. <laughs> um, and um, it does talk, and I think that's a very uh, excellent point, it does talk about what the town manager's responsibilities are. Um, and. Let me see if I can make it bigger. I don't always do well at this part of it. Um, there is no need to have it on your laptop. You need to do it on your laptop. It will become bigger on the screen. Right. How do I do that? Just to the right at the bottom. Ah, right there. There we go. So one of these, this is a good pointing this out, Darcy, one of them, um, it's little letter B under section 3.2 is coordinate activities of all the town agencies. Um, I felt, and I found no place to write it under the evaluation form, so I did it in one of those free form, anything else you wanna say. Mm -hmm. I found that different department heads sometimes had different points of view and in particular was about the intersection in North Amherst, but they had literally different, and they weren't working off the same page, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of let's come together, decide, and I thought the town manager should have pulled them together, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, you know, that not to have s speaking out of um, different mouths, so this, uh, yes. You know, so I don't know where these go because some of them is keep the town council fully informed of the needs of the town. That could be under fiscal responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. so some of these, right. but they're a, um, we need information sooner to make some of the decisions we're making. Um, and we're, uh, on occasion, it feels like pulling teeth to get the other pieces. Um, and so, Yes, so, so I don't know where those go, but I like these, um, some of these thoughts underneath what the charter did.
And then it, lo it looks like these points in the charter could go within those big broad categories, the five ones. I think we yeah. have yeah. to see if they do. Yeah, and then create additional right. categories. Yeah. So that's exactly what I was doing, saying, you know, which, where do they slot? Yeah. And the one on sustainable energy policy, you know, the examples would be when we talked about Centennial Water Plant, only at the very end did we say, should we think about solar driving the electricity there? And that's mm -hmm. one where the town manager could be saying, in each of these things, put it through a lens of we're supposed to be thinking about that, so it doesn't have to come up later, it can come up sooner. So is that its own, or is it implement policies set up by the council, which is a more generic? You know, it's interesting, because as we were doing Centennial, I thought one of the most important points um, that got made, that was made, and we actually vote on cent Centennial this coming Monday, was that if we don't do Centennial, we actually lose one of our three water sources. And that is, to me, such an issue regarding sustainability. I mean, you can put, I mean, losing your water source is huge when it comes to sustainability. And so, um, I agree, Kathy, it came up in terms of putting solar on top. It also came up with why were we hearing about it in, the, in July? We should have been hearing about it in May. You know, right. I mean, it's just, you know, right. just thinking with that, if this is a top priority, those right. things rise to the top right. to an otherwise very busy person, right? You know, yeah, in so. other words, like resiliency, which is the key. Yes, yes. Yeah. That you have backup both something that might happen. Right, right. And if you look at, and I can pull it up, if you look at the document that I sent that is the town manager's evaluation, I'm going to have a hard time finding where it is. I think there was a one, maybe two goals that mentioned sustainability, but that would be it. Yeah, so I think I would raise it to the level of a Roman numeral. Okay. So in other words, so let me just start something here as a way of trying to get us going. Um, in the present town manager things, we have a Roman numeral one, and that's fiscal management. I don't think any of us disagree with that one. Two. Um, Long-range planning. Thank you. Long-range plant. Whoops. And then right now, that's relationship with us, because we don't have select board anymore, but... is relationship to the town council. Okay, four is staff and per personnel relations. And I thought that one was too much detail. I know I wasn't able to answer most of it. I think, I think we should put down the goal or the, or the result that we want and don't tell him every step that he has to do to get there. Right. So what's five? Um, it's that long one. Community Intergovernment Relations Committee. No, it would be Relations Committee. Yeah. Community, Community Intergovernmental Relations, comma, and Volunteer Committee, Boards, and Commissions. I'll go back and get. Okay, so. so of those five, three, four, and five are processy. Um, and four is one uh, that we may or may not have any insight mm -hmm. into. Right. <laughs> you know, so because, you know, other than someone comes to us and gripes, or we meet a fantastic staff person and they say he's wonderful. So, you know, I mean, w so I don't know. I felt like I was no, no ability to judge constantly on that. And it wasn't just that I wasn't select board. I just thought, you know, how, how would I possibly know? So I'm wondering whether, 
you know, it's, is it maintains uh, quality and talented staff or something that- So those would be subsets underneath them. Yeah, so this would be, it's not so much the relationship with them, but that we wanna know that even if we lose someone, we've got another great person and that he's bringing, he's, it's, it's under, so it's not, I would take the word almost uh, uh, if high quality staff and personnel management or so, something like that I would have rather than staff and personnel relations, you know, so we don't want him just to be popular. I mean, it would be nice that he was liked, but. But are there other areas under staff and personal relations? And this is where I suggest we go and we yeah. look at what's there. And yeah. we say, well, no, this one was so hard to judge, but no, this one I think we should keep. And so maybe it's just the word relations is what I don't like. It's staff and personnel management might work fine for me, and then all the categories go underneath it. But it's not just the relationship, it's the management. I so think that's part of it, though. I mean, I, would, I think I would argue that um, that is important. Well, I, do, I definitely think it is important. Um, it's a piece of it. Well, we can't evaluate if the staff doesn't send us any evaluation forms, definitely. But, um, uh, but we could if they did. Uh, so. I think we have to judge from, does it seem to be relevant from our point of view? What is my topic? And do we need things? We ask for things? Do we reveal things? I, I think Darcy just doesn't want me to scrap relations. So if I had staff and personnel management and relationships, you know, so it's, you, you don't want to lo lose that he's a good team leader, right? Um, that people like him, like to work with him. But so where I was going to go on three, four, and five, it's this other one on, you know, this is just, I'm just going to reread Cambridge because I've got the sentence, but we should write our own. Uh, lead, deep, deepen the commitment, the town and the council commitment to sustainable use of energy and strengthen our capacity for resilience. I think that's different than fiscal management and different than long range planning. So I think I would raise it up to a category three after long range planning, although one could argue that it's a subset of long range planning. <laughs> Let's not get into the order. Yeah, Let's get I, into getting them down. Yeah. Sustainability and... Uh, sus sustainable use of energy okay. and uh, a town's capacity for resilience. How about sustainability and resilience? Fine. For broad categories. Yeah, no, fine. To, I'm trying That's to fine. get what no, absolutely. do you yeah. want to make? So you're, you're asking for his leadership in that area? We're asking, asking for his leadership? So I would have, if I had subcategories, is he's leading in that every time anything comes up, it's going through a grid like this. He's coordinating so that if he needs two departments to talk to each other about this, he's reaching out to other towns, you know, where could we be in partner? You know, so I could think of many roles that our manager could play that are separate from what we might do, but it's constantly looking for ways to uh, make a difference in the coming 12 months. Yeah. I, I mean, I will relate that in conversation with Paul since the whole discussion about the school bus. He has said to his staff, in everything future that we come up to purchase, we need to be able to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. What are the options? What do they cost? What are the trade-offs, et cetera, et cetera? And so that one issue alone mm -hmm. has already put the staff on alert that those kinds of recommendations in the future need to have background work done. Are there, are there grants available? All of those kinds of issues that got raised during that, and even then some. But he still was going to work up a policy. Well, we, we're going to have our own, I mean, we're starting on November 18th with the work of the ECAC committee. Mm -hmm. um, see, it's, ECAC stands for committee, last is committee. Uh, they're coming forward with their del 
their delivery to us on their first, on the first of the three um, parts of their charge, mm -hmm. which is the town's goals for sustainability. And that's happening on the 18th and, um, of November. And then uh, from then on, then after that, they move to the second and the third one, which is you know, kind of planning for them and then implementing. Some of them actually over time will lead to work where, you know, the, the, after we have policies, then the issue is, do we have regulations? Do we have guidelines? Do we have, you know, things that then the town implements as it makes sure they reach those goals? That's, that's the way I, my understanding of how government works. The category five, which has all those words, um, that includes the UMass strategic and this uh, I mean, in, in other words, underneath that is when one. we say community, yeah. Because um, fiscal management, it's, you know, we had uh, one of the subsets of the select boards was look for every opportunity to get new revenues under fiscal management. And I think that underneath neath the category of UMass and Amherst College, there might be Increase. There might be opportunities for revenues, if we think about it. You know, but 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 I would put it under probably under five. You know, as a, I, I don't even know what what we're ultimately going to see with the latest agreement. Right. I'd like to actually broaden this to higher ed relationships, and then under it, UMass partnership is one of them. Right. Because. I mean, we've seen an example where Am oh, yeah. Amherst College. Yeah, I said Amherst, you know, so higher ed. I didn't mean just the UMass, okay. yeah. So it's higher ed um, institution. And just so, you know, where some of this is coming from, I've been reading a series of how did other towns get larger pilots. Several of their mayors, but clearly their councils, said if we taxed you at 25% of the value of your properties, you would have to pay us this much. How much will you pay us? And the Boston mayor went down, uh, around to every single college with that request. The Smith mayor went to Smith College, uh, the Northampton Williams. You know, they actually put a number in front. They didn't get the number, but they were saying, you know, if we did this, you know, and the pilot payments put both of our two entities to shame in terms of the amount that's coming back. And Shelley had mentioned UVM up in Burlington, which is a public university, but paying a lot more. UVM, most, most people tell you that UVM, they feel like a private. No, they, 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 so they run themselves support. like a private, but yeah. Right, but they, I, the whole issue of what do our partnership agreements look like with these institutions and what are the pilots is what I'm hearing. I'm just making notes. I'm just trying to get broad categories. Exactly, and that's where it might be fiscal management, but I like it better under this, the category five. There's no way any of these are discrete, so I know. that's okay. Kathy, you mentioned earlier, um, I have to write them down. There, you said in the goals for the, um, um, I guess it was Cambridge, uh, there was one around transportation and safety. Yes. And do you see where that would fit under anything here, or does it deserve another Roman numeral? Well, that's that's where I don't know, because my, that's my sense of pulling all the staff. I mean, they also have one on affordable housing. But pulling the various entities in our town staff that are in charge of doing this together around what do we actually want rather than having them be silos. So is that under staff and personnel relations management? Is that under long-term planning? You know, we, we have a vision of transportation, but we're not actually acting on it. Um, you know, as one really small anecdote, when Bay Road was redone recently next to Applewood, which is where my mother lives, I noticed there's no shoulder at all. And since I bike, it became obvious there's actually rocks. So I looked at what the contractor was supposed to do. They were supposed to widen the road and put a bulk line. But because they wanted to do it fast, they decided we wouldn't do that. So we'd have to do it again. So I'm just wondering, you know, why would we redo a road when we have a vision of 
making it safer and do the shortcut to come back and do it again in a couple years. So it's, it's transportation policy goes underneath that. Um, long range planning, buildings, economic development goes underneath here. Um, yeah. Is this where master plan and zoning go? I think so, and, and you know, it's like the, here the manager is just supposed to make sure if we say we want to look at this stuff and be somewhere a year from now, he's supposed to do his best to make it happen, right? I mean, meanwhile, we're, we're the policy actors. Okay. I'm trying to make this. So we have fiscal management. Are there any specific things? The only other one, Lynn, I hate to make number two That's even okay. longer, it's housing. Under long range planning? Yep. Okay. I mean, as we know, we have an emerging voice for let's have a policy. Mm -hmm. And so will it be obvious that sustainability and resilience apply to everything under long-term planning? Uh, I, I think so. That's why I wanted to move. You know, when Lynn said, don't worry about the order right now, I wanted it not to be last, but to move it right up. You know, whether we move it up and say in everything above, we run it through that grid. You know, I mean, we can articulate a sentence next to that, you know, with everything above, we're running it through with our eyes to this. Yeah. It, I mean, in my mind, again, these are so interrelated. You can't do a budget without looking at all the other areas. You can't do sustainability without involving your staff, without involving long range planning, without involving fiscal. So they're completely interrelated. And our, our charge, our difficult charge is gonna be to put which goals under where without being repetitive. Or otherwise we will end up with, a, with 95 goals again. Okay, and so just, you know, when we think of what we're doing with the subcategories, what I found difficult in the most recent time is under number one, fiscal management, yeah. we had the equivalent of long-term planning. You know, like we shouldn't do just one year at a time of budget, we should be looking like what do the next two or three years look like? Do you want that under long range planning? Or no, I want to leave it under fiscal management. So, you know, like current year, but also future years. I just wanted, you know, so it's not just manage this year, but manage with an idea for um, multiple years. Yeah. Multiple year total budgets or multiple year capital? I, I think both operating and capital. Um, I don't, know whether we as a council would ever been able would ever be able to take a hard look at the subdivisions to say should some money be moved around and we can't under the charter but we could with the town manager say is one of the segments getting too little and one getting too much on the operating budget side we didn't have to face it this last year because everyone seemed to be happy with what they got yeah, oper so that's good, operating and capital. Where are the capital projects and where is the long-term capital budget again? Is we, start with we started off talking about, when we were looking at yep. the handwritten goals, yep. we talked about capital projects and we talked about a capital plan which cr included roads and sidewalks. And I was wondering whether transportation should go with that, but I don't know where they are now. So. Financing those belongs up here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't see my finger pointing, can you? It belongs up here. Right, that's right. Thank you. Uh, but the question is, is there more? You see, I, what I don't want to do is what I think we all had real problems with, and it, that is it seemed like the same goals would appear under different categories. So uh, is this still a list of town manager goals? Mm -hmm. Because this is it, a list for manager goals, but reflecting, mm -hmm. does it include 
our goals, the what town council goals. Fiscal management and long range planning. And, I mean, that's the problem is they really do go together, particularly where we are now. On the same hand, yearly budgets really just belong under fiscal. The, under this one, I want to add another one, and that is. Identify additional resources. So it just feels like it needs some verbs or something oh. to <laughs> make it make it express what what the goal is for the town manager. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely. The Cambridge wording on budget is assured that the city's budget allocates its resources responsibly and responsibly. <laughs> you know, it's you're looking for some, you know, Eloquent. qualitative what, what we'd like out of all of this. And I think that's gotta come once we get the categories, right? That, yeah, exactly. I, right now, I wanna make sure we feel that these are, at least for now, the six categories we wanna work with and then are there other notes, and that's all these A, Bs, and Cs are, are notes that we want to make that we, when this issue pops up, what do we think? Okay, so under fiscal management, the Dorothy question, do we do, um, the big capital projects really are about can we sustain services to the town, you know, core services, schools, library, um, core services to the town, so that's, uh, to the tent. So that's different than just getting additional resources. So it's multi years budgets, identify additional and sustaining core services. You know what? I mean, I, th I think over the next year, Paul will have to be taking a role in its back and forth on DPW and fire. Are we going to say some of this is going to have to be done in phasing? You can't have everything you want, you know, in. What are the needs? But he's going to have to be a real manager leader on this stuff. I th by the way, I think the capital plans, the cap, the big capital investments, the four, and that's a change in wording, belong under long range planning, because we we can't all do it this year. We know that. No, he absolutely can't. Yeah. not using the feature that would automatically re-letter yeah. those. You're making it hard on yourself. I know, where is that feature? You have to make the bullet a letter and then it understands it's a bullet. Yeah. But don't worry about it. Okay, thank you. It's some, if somebody does can't this. Can you can define your bullet to be anything you want. I'll deal with it. You can make it Greek letters if you wanted to. That, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to move it up because no, it's no, such that's a good. priority yeah. of ours. Yeah, no, thank you. But we can use two different words, two different phrases of big capital. One that would be clearly the capital project, and one that could be the capital plan, which included roads and sidewalks. Well, the, the trans I mean, we can come back whether we really want to have this many, but uh, I think the transportation policy is this larger issue of how do you get around town. It's intersections, it's sidewalks, it's bike lanes. Um, so it's also clearly repairing a sidewalk or putting one in. Do we dare put the word transportation and parking? Because parking is, to me, under transportation is also parking. But I don't, I'm fine with leaving it 
as as oh, the. Oh no! I think we better put it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly out there. But I think you could take safety out as a separate, because we're talking about it within the context of, unless we want to say that we want to make sure EMT, fire, and everyone is on, you know, can get to where they want, you know, I think we're talking about it in the context of transportation. Since we're just down to safety. Yeah. I'm just trying to make this list a little shorter. <laughs> Okay. Where are you putting safety then? I didn't hear the question. Oh, where where would the safety safety aid thing go? I thought it went with transportation. And well, safety. I think sustaining core services. I'd put it up there, but and she's got public safety up there, and I just you know the transportation and parking when we do a. a longer evocative sentence, you know, make sure people can get around, get to where they want to get to safely, <laughs> and by multiple means could be the sentence that goes with transportation and parking. Dorothy mentioned parks and recreation. Where does it go? Well, then it's connected to parking. I mean, if we talk about the north wing and yeah. we're getting, I'm getting all the time on the wall. It's in your district. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Well, it, you know, we each get our own. Ours is that the Robert Frost Trail that's uh, what the origin of the famous poem that he's trotting along a trail and no one will care um, was uh, deleted by a solar field that went in. So North Amherst had to do something to get it back. Can I ask you a question, Dorothy? Yeah. Does ECAC meet in here at 4.30? It meets downstairs. It meets downstairs. It's just a work group. It's not the whole. Did committee. anybody notice if there was another meeting in here at four thirty? In the little room? No, in this one. I just noticed. Commission meeting. At what time? Kathy went out to look at the board. It's my source. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure that, I mean, I, I stretched you to 4.30, even though a couple of people said that wasn't doable for them, so. Zoning the subcommittee meets before that, but I don't know whether it meets, they're at five. Do they meet in this room, Darcy? That's us. That's us, so they meet okay. at five here. All right, yeah. let's try to, it, let me go back to the larger picture here. Are there any broader categories that go at the Roman numeral level. I don't think so. You know, under five is where um, diversity of people serving and all the outreach and that stuff all goes under five, yeah. So I want Dorothy to come back because I want to do two things and then I think we do need to go. One is I want people to, you, taking the town manager goals from this year, okay, go through them and see which of these, which of these five they fit under. Now if you use the write-up of the evaluation, there the first four, five are already there. The sixth one is not, okay? And as you go through them, also mark which ones you think should be eliminated because they're too detailed, they're redundant, or whatever. Or make other notes like, yes, we need this, but it's not well worded, or anything like that. And then the other thing is to do is So, Lynn, you're asking us to go through all these, the subgroups. The um, 95 Yeah, goals. got it. Yeah, got it. But, the, but if you, they're already grouped. Right, the they're grouped, possible. and you bolded the ones that are more significant. Or, no, I bolded no, the ones in which he got the highest Oh, where, where we couldn't figure out what he was doing or he wasn't positive, right? No, okay. 
bolded was where he was very positive. Bolded was a certain percentage above. Not bolded was where he was below. I believe I'm right. So can I just ask on certain things like working with the legislature to develop policies in line with our goals and value? That means the Massachusetts legislature as opposed to the council. How would we know? It's very interesting. I'm probably the only one that has had privilege to any of those discussions, and they've only been here and there. Um, and that's, un for, but I do know, for instance, Paul Getzer. I think it's a very one, a hard one for the town council to assess. Yeah. That's Having said that, I will also say that on December 2nd, uh, when we do the state of the town address, when we get the annual reports uh, from all of the boards and from the um, license commission. We have also now invited, because we had hoped they would plan anyway, uh, both uh, Joe Comerford and Mindy Dom okay. to come and make and give a presentation about things that they have worked on this year and particularly those of interest to the legislature and also what they're you know, what they're thinking about for next year. I keep, every time I go back to this evaluation, I say, but we never were even through one year. We did this evaluation based on seven months of a full year right. experience. And, you know, it, for example, the whole issue of setting tax rates. We're doing that on the 21st. We're starting out doing tax rates. So when we got to that goal and tried to evaluate it, based on last year, we had full, no clue. We had no experience because that happens in the fall and we weren't sworn in by the time it happens. So I think this year we have to look at it in a holistic way. And by the time we get to December 2nd, we will have been in business one year. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, we've been in business. So. Uh, I want to do two things. I've mentioned already. I want you to, I'm going to send this to you. I want you to take this and try it. But I want you to do that by taking the larger document, which was the one dated September 3rd, 2018. And I gave it to you in Word so that you can actually mark it up or whatever. That's this one. Do we want to divide it up um, among us? So that we aren't all doing the same thing? That's, that would be fine if you'd like to do that. Uh, or everybody can do it, and then we can compare where we are. How would you like to do that? And it's, it's basically to take these and say, OK, yes, this first goal, I don't know that that's true, but this first goal under fiscal management absolutely is reflected in Roman numeral one. We should keep it. The second goal under fiscal management, nah, we don't need to have that goal. It was too detailed, it's not. Or make another note that says, we need to have a substitute goal for this. Let me just point out, for instance, this goal under 1B under fiscal management was submits mass, work, mass works grant application for North Amherst. Mm -hmm. That's a lovely goal, but don't we really want to say Submitted, submits applications for various sources of funding. You know, it's in other words, it's a broader goal. No, and successfully get the money. I don't, yeah. I, right. you know, <laughs> submit and. I don't think that's what we should be evaluating. Right, exactly, exactly. But we need to evaluate it in a way yeah. we can measure it. So could we get that as information? Like these were the grants we got. So, that would give us the information on right. which we are assessing. So remember when, in order to do this, Paul wrote his own self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. So one of the things he would have to include is in his self-evaluation was, during the past year, the town has applied for the following goals and was, or the following grants, and has been successful in the following, or it, it's still pending. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dorothy, before you leave, when do we want to meet next? But that's, 
But Dorothy, that's exactly, just delete them. And, you know, so some of these are things that I think, oh, we could ask for that, maybe select board used to, like develop a policy for the disposition, reuse, or disposal of surplus town We're, property. I have no idea how much surplus town property we have. Right. You know, so we might say that finance should be asking for a list, or, or you, can, how many grants, so we, you know, to my knowledge, I'm sure something like that exists, but. Okay, can I ask yeah. you, is Wednesday a good, Wednesday afternoon a good date? Next okay. next week? And do you wanna to try to meet on the 23rd? I can't, but I'm okay. fine with you meeting without me. I can't do it either, I, I do the circumstances. I put the circumstances Okay, do we wanna meet on the 30th at, two, at three o'clock? Three. That, three one's, that one's fine for me. Um, you know, on that day, I could meet as early as two. That's fine. Two. That's fine. Okay, great. Thank you. That's what I wanted to make sure we accomplished. And I will get your room and... Uh, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you.